YouTube, what's going on guys? Got a little bit of discus trace. Just did a water change yesterday. Wanna go ahead and remineralize this tank today. We're talking about hexameda and we're talking about why most discus keepers will say I keep water, not the fish. My water keeps my fish. Guys, stay with me. Okay, here. Let's go. Let's YouTube, what's going on guys? Today we're talking about hexameda. Now, I'm gonna give you the answer real quick to how to treat it, Seachem Metroplex. You can get Seachem Metroplex. Sometimes they recommend a five day treatment. Some people recommend a 10 day treatment. Either way, Metroplex, that's the way to go. You can either give it to them in a bath or you can give it to them in food. You can take the food, you can go ahead and if you want to get like frozen beef heart or something like that, you can go ahead and treat the food. You can put the, the unserved portions of the food in the, in the freezer and it'll go ahead and hold it and maintain it. And then you can feed them that and that'll go ahead and treat, um, uh, treat the hexameda. Or you can give it to them in a bath. This will also treat the hexameda. Um, what I, the, the cause of hexameda normally is brought about by stress. So what is hexameda? Hexameda is a flagellated protozoa. Okay. That's what hexameda is. Um, what you see inside of your tank with hexameda, the causes of it is you'll see, uh, you'll see your fish eating, but getting real, real thin, especially with discus and angelfish right here along the top of their head that should be a thick slab it should not be real thin and bony you shouldn't see thin and bony right there it should be a thick you know should look like a piece of meat you know just really a nice thick slab right there um if they're eating but they're not putting on weight they're still bony um if they are uh laying on the side uh, on the bottom of the tank, if they're laying on their side at the top of the tank, this is also another sign. And of course, the the, the major telltale sign is the white white poop looking like a white rope that's coming out of there. Um, you, you know, causes of hexameda can be food related. Um, you can give that to them while they have, you know, if they're eating bloodworms, if you're feeding them bloodworms. Um, I fed bloodworms, frozen bloodworms to to a tank. I have a video up on that from, you know, three or four years ago. Uh, never feed bloodworms again because I had a, you know, a, 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 a case of flagellates, you know, break out inside of my tank. Uh, you know, all of my rams got, got, got sick and started pooping white. Um, but the main cause of hexameda, and I've said this before, and some people have, you know, ha, you know, kind of balked on me. Um, but the main cause of hexameda is poor water quality, poor water conditions, okay? And you can prevent some of this stuff by keeping them in the correct biotope, meaning keeping them inside of, inside of acid water. Guys, think about this for just a minute. In high temperatures, okay, bacteria thrives. This is why when you go to a hospital, okay, it's very, very, the, the, the temperatures are very, very low. And it's because they do not want to give bacteria uh, 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 a good breeding ground. Okay. So if you're keeping discus, you, you, you know, you're, you know that you already need to keep your temperatures elevated. Okay. So when you're keeping temperatures elevated, you're making a perfect breeding ground for bacteria. Okay. Um, now hexameda is not a bacterial infection. Okay. But a uh, high bacteria load these things start to cause stress inside of discus and stress is what brings on hexameda okay so inside of even healthy discus there is inside of the inside of the intestinal tract there is there are protozoa there okay now they are not fully developed yet but stress allows them to 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 to, to more fully develop and then pass it on through fecal matter inside of the tank okay and this is why we get into heavy heavy water changes inside of our tanks because we do not want there to be a high organic 
load inside of the tank and so we want to remove all of that stuff as quickly as possible because poor water quality and poor water conditions do cause stress which brings about the secondary problems with hexameter so this is why i say if it you know for you guys who have been watching my channel uh, and are subscribed and if you're not come on hit that sub button i promise you i'll never give you a boring video even if you don't agree with it okay but Hexameda is brought about by poor water quality conditions, guys. Okay, so if you're keeping your water soft and acidic, guess what? Acid does not allow a, a you know a lot of bacteria, uh, you know, to get about inside the tank. Okay, acid bacteria is lower in harder water. Your bacteria is much higher. Okay, meaning that if you do have some poor water uh, quality conditions and your temperature is high, okay, and also your water is hard, then now you have an optimal breeding ground for bacteria loads. And this is why these guys say, hey, you know, th these fanatical discus keepers will tell you you need to be doing 90%, 100% water changes. I don't agree with that. That's for another video. I've done a video on that before. Got another one coming up on that very soon. But um, if you're keeping them correctly, remember that they don't have, they're not made, okay, to live in water conditions that are very hard where bacteria loads are very high. They're not made to do that. And this is why people end up having these secondary problems like hexameter and they get one sick fish and then it, boom, it contaminates the entire tank. And this is because it passes on through the fecal matter and now you have a sick tank okay prevent this all together by keeping your water soft keep that keep that water acidic okay and be doing your maintenance and be doing your water changes the treatment is easy guys but that takes the whole joy out of out of keeping the fish why not just keep them where they're supposed to be kept at in high temperatures with soft and acidic water doing your water changes regularly okay whatever your bio load is that's what you should be that's what should be dictating your water change regimen and keep doing that and you won't have to deal with diseases like hex guys i'm scuba steve you know what time it is i'm out